Well, hello, you guys. Oops, sorry, I need a sip of something. Got a frog in my throat. Ooh, okay. So, charming sentiments. Um, what else did I use? <laughs> because you can use these with anything. So, we're doing one with amazing silhouettes, that one. And then this little guy from Count On Me. And then I use the deckled, rec deckled rectangles. I can say that. And then I use these little twigs or sprigs, whatever you call them. I don't know. From sunflower dyes. And then, of course, stylus shapes because I love them so much. So, I didn't make a separate card with the candles, but I did play with them. So, eventually, if I don't lose these pieces, like, those will become a card. And then you can also, well, here's a scrap. You know, like, if you wanted to either back them all with the same color or, you know, put them on on black these don't have the flame yet but you know there's different ways you can use those so and then of course now i did see a video um of this demonstrator and i totally forgot her name i totally didn't save the video but i am going to look for it on how she did all hers and she stores them in like a tackle box because you can uh, adjust them, but she did them in all colors and she did them with the stamparatus. But then instead of using, oh, I threw mine out, like the whole sheet after you cut your first batch of them, she cut out the little circles like around the word. It, it's, it's hard to describe. But I am going to find that video and I am going to make like a ton of these in different colors. And when I find that video, I will post it on my um, stamp, Stampin' Up! page. So let me give a quick hello. And I see this has like totally filled up. So... Let's see, Leslie, Sean, Penny, Judith, Lisa, uh, Betty, uh, doo -doo, Vicky, Fran, Char, Joanne, Patricia, Heather, Sue Cruz, Kim Lloyd, um, got Lisa, Holly, hello, Karen. Uh, Mary, Charlotte, Karen, Eileen, and Shannon, and Rosemary. Okay. Hello, everybody. So, card number one. Very simple. And I pre-did these because it's easier. But her way, I, I have to say, definitely is easier than doing like a, a full sheet. And then trying to, you know, put them back in because it, it didn't stamp totally even. So, yeah. But I will find that video. I will. Oh, I didn't print my thing. So, this paper is from um, Abigail Rose. Abigail Rose. The other paper, I'm just grabbing, the other paper I used was from uh, Hues of Happiness. But it's all in the description. Oh, what do I want to do first? I don't know. I don't know. We'll glue this. I guess I do know. So pretty. And that's my 
granddaughter's name, Abigail. Don't start with me, glue. Don't even, don't even stop. Okay, did I miss a Jennifer? Who if I did? Hello, and a Christine. Hello. Okay, so this is going to go directly on here. Sure, sure it is. Hi, Sue. How's it going there in Australia? Did I hear that you kicked out the queen? Hello, Margaret. Okay, so that's going to go there, but this is also going to get some dimensionals. Okay, so then, oh, you know what? Let me put this to this, and then it's one less thing. And, of course, whatever the piece it was, oh, the little flower. As soon as I stopped the video, I found it. Always happens. I think I gotta adjust my camera slightly. Better. Okay, so these are sticking together. So it was two like this. So I'm just gonna put some glue there. And then one in the middle. <laughs> fumbly, fumbly fingers. All right, so once you get those three, then you decide where you want them. So yeah, right there is going to be good. And then hopefully I put them back in the same spot. I did say hopefully. Oop, a little over. Okay, so we have those three down. It's going to go right there. There was something else I thought of that could have gone on here. Now I can't remember. So I guess when I designed the card, I couldn't remember either. <laughs> and then that one right there. But I like to keep them simple for you guys and myself. <laughs> and that's going to go, well, maybe a little to the right, a little off. And then
And that is card number one. Just like that. Stephanie! Long time no see. Hi, Carol. What you doing, woman? Okay, so that was card number one. Card number two is this one. So we're going to do a little bit of embossing. Yep. And my fan is going, so that's always fun. But without the fan, this card will be wet. I'm going to need the old olive and Versamark. So ink that puppy up. And then I think I think I did a boo boo there, but it'll be okay. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, paper, 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 paper. By the time I get this ready, it'll be all dry from the fan. Too bad. Okay. And here comes the magic. Wait, that's a hot. I got it all. Oh, maybe not. All right, let that cool just a second. Then we're going to take brush. In that piece of paper. So old olive.
Okay. Then you take a tissue or napkin or a towel and you wipe off the embossed ink. And you have that. So we're going to mount that onto an old olive piece. What happened, Betty? Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh. Gale, gale, gale. Good place for a little opal. So what if it wasn't where I wanted to put it? I'll try erasing a little bit of it, though. Ugh. Let's see. Sandy racer, maybe to the rescue. Mom, I barely touched you. Barely. Well, that's okay. I don't mind it now. Okay, so in the instructions... I put that I used um, Evening Evergreen, but then I got my Mossy Meadow partly fixed because I couldn't get any, like, real color out of it. And that's just going to go right there. And you could, you know, put some dimension under it, but I didn't. And then... Whoops, don't slide off my desk. Come back. Oh, I just shot it to the other side. Come back. <laughs> Say, come back. Don't go. Huh. I found a little butterfly. That's what it got stuck on. Okay. So in between that, that's card number two. I used the hay there from this set, but I cut it apart on that card that I colored. And then... For my granddaughter, I did that. So the woohoo and the congratulations come from there. So that set does absolutely come in handy. Now, this card, I was like, eh. <laughs> and of course, this paper like changes, let me see if I can show, show you. 
it changes. Whoops. See, it goes from like all these colors. And it's almost like on like every sheet does that. So this was the other side. So it's going to be... Oh. I was like, where's all the pieces? So of course I made a few little changes. Like the vellum, I made the piece bigger. And cut with the um, deckled rectangles. Oh, I didn't want to do that, Gail. It's going to only go in certain spots. It's fine. Let's do the other part first. <laughs> it's just fine. All right, so this one I stamped in Melon Mambo. And I was thinking of running this through a folder, but I went, eh, we'll just, we'll just leave it. Okay, and that is going to get... And remember, we don't want any saggy bits. I think two should do it in the middle. Let's see. Okay, no saggy bits. Okay, so this one, yeah, right direction. I kind of like this side too. So that's going to go there. Oh, it was the right way. Ain't nobody got time for saggy bits. That's right. Like when I first started... 25 years ago. Can't believe it's that long. Just used to put one in each corner. And I, I like, I really didn't like that. Okay, so now this, we're just going to lay it there. Because a lot of glue can go under this part of it. Yeah, yeah. Is that? It could go under. Nah. Let's see if it comes up. Oh, yeah, it works good on vellum. Sucker. Oh, yeah, because I, on this one, because this was smaller. See, got to change it. And then it changes everything. Oh, don't worry. We got this. We got this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got this. We might have some saggy bits, but we got this. Ooh, look at that. All right. So that's going to go there. Mama. So I'm going to go part way here. And I think I'm going to have to pull.
I got to replace these because it's not going to go in the exact spot. You know? You know. I'm just making the video go longer so I'm not finished so fast. That's all. So one there, one there, and one there, and we're not going to have any saggy bits. What a catastrophe. Not. All right, so now that's going to go there. Whew. Okay, so. We can put some there. We can put some there. Then I can put a lot there. And then I'll show you what I do. Oh, I got to get that off with the glue eraser. Okay. So this and this. Now the vellum like really tones it down. So now you can go back with your glue. And oh, we only got a little teeny white spot right there. And we got there and there. Because you're not going to see it when you put it on the white. If you put it on a color, you're going to see it. Yeah, I'm probably going to have the same problem there. But I think we're going to have to... Well, not too bad. Yeah, there's going to be like a little speck. Just a little itty speck. And that'll keep it down. Now, for what I'm going to put on this... I don't know. I think these might do it. Any ones? No. Oh, I have those too. I forgot about those. But we're going to do these. So there's card number three. And there was the first one. So just a little bit of change. I like it with the bigger piece of vellum on it. That's for sure. All right. Card number four is that one. Okay, so the first thing, we'll get this inside piece, four and a quarter by, four by five and a quarter. You know, I say that backwards every time. That's why I usually use white, <laughs> so I don't have to say it. <laughs> you don't have to put it in, you don't have to say it. Okay. And then this one is from the teacups. It's called Tea Bouquet. Boutique. Gail. I think I said that last time, too. Yeah, baby. Pink and brown, pink and brown. Gotta love it. All right, so we're going to put this to the side. This is already done, of course. We're going to get the little kangaroo. Now, I stamped him in early espresso.
again. I put this away for a moment. Oh, get in there. Okay, so I had choices, and of course I couldn't find one of my crumb cakes. There it is now. So I used gray granite. I don't know, maybe I want to switch to crumb cake. Watch me room the card. I'm switching to crumb cake. Okay. So we're going to take the wrong side. Can't use that side with these. Okay, so in the spots where there's going to be a shadow, and a little bit on his back, a little bit on the tail, under his arm, Oh, and then, of course, I cheated in here. Just a little. You know, it's mostly coloring book. Coloring. Oops. We're going to go up in there. And a little bit on his head. And the light crumb cake is going to go everywhere else. Ooh, I kind of liked them in the gray. <laughs> now that I'm comparing. What color is a kangaroo anyway? Oh, my Australia people, you could tell me. So I didn't do a, like a lot of shading on his face. I'm going to bring in just a little bit in a moment because... I wanted to keep him to the light side, brown usually. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's kind of what I thought. But the gray granite worked in a pinch. I'm going to bring a little bit more here. Whoops, wrong side. I can't be the only one with that problem. Those tips on these, like, don't last. Oop, I think I hear the rain. I thought it was passing over, but... in his butt. Okay, then for inside here, I cheated and just grabbed one of my Copics and did it all one color. I know, it's a cheat. And I gotta do his nose. So we'll take um, soft suede, do his nose. He's so cute, he's so cute, he's so cute. And then I use dark daffodil for the center. 
just coloring book coloring. What I use light sweet sorbet or sorbet, however you want to say it. I should have moved the camera down and then we've got light granny apple green for the leaf and for some shading and I'm not using the two colors to give it more shading just putting some green under them Coloring doesn't have to be like or make you crazy. Just color and enjoy it. I love to color. All right. So we're going to take them. I just love how the deckled edge looks. I really do. Oh, yeah. That's getting popped up. I put in my pre-order this morning and I'll have it on Friday so Sunday with one of well I can't use one of those sets can I because nobody will be able to get it darn it I was thinking for because I didn't plan something yet for the June card class of the month. Hmm. So we'll put that in the middle. In the middle, in the middle, in the middle of the block. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And then we'll add a few butterflies. That's the one I saved. Saved its life. We'll save this one's life too. You need to be on here in a different direction because I don't know where I want to put you. We'll do that. So there is card number four. Let me move this stuff and I'll bring them back. And in case you came in late and didn't see these two, where I use the same greetings from the set on my non-stamping cards. Okay, one, two. Let's raise it up. One, two, three, and... Four. 
There they be. Yeah. I hope you like them. But these are definitely fun. And when I find that video from the other demonstrator, I will post it on Facebook. And I'll put um, a link in the description on um, YouTube so you can get to it. Because it was a very good way. I mean, you'd have to, it takes time, and you'd have to, you know, spend half a day doing them. But then you're set, like, you know, in different colors, and like you cut them in advance and then stamp them so you don't have to worry about, you know, placement. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I will be back on Sunday. Hopefully it'll be the class of the month or there'll be something else that I'm going to do for this month. And I will see you then. Good night, everybody. Oh, did I tell you what my... Tell them hi, guys. They call me Grandma Gail to her kids. Um, yeah, so I don't know what, but it'll be something. A little late, but you know. See you then. Good night.